According to Nick Cannon, 80% of women have problems with vaginal hygiene, prompting men from all over the world to speak out about it. One user on Facebook quoted, every time I go down on my girlfriend, she is a bit right. I haven't brought it up to her because I don't want to hurt her feelings. Well, men, worry no more. The goat of the Yoni Care is back. Embrace Pangea's pristine vaginal inserts. That's right. Pristine is an overnight vaginal solution that works in just 12 hours. Pristine will balance your pH and get rid of all that odor and itch. All you're gonna do is take one capsule, you're gonna insert it south, not north, but south inside, and wait for that bad boy to dissolve. Over 830 women have used Embrace Pangea's pristine vaginal inserts and have had great things to say. Now get pristine at lovepristine.com and be sure to check out a lot of the reviews at lovepristine.com okay now this is funny this is funny everybody is pouring out blessings to Nia Long about a nigga she already knew she had the reason she knew she had this type of nigga here I made you doka okay he's the head coach to an NBA team you know, NBA players fuck around, ask Tristan. <laughs> a lot of them are encouraged by their coaches, but there's a reason why she's been with him 15 years and hasn't chose, nor is she in a rush to marry him because she knows this motherfucker. She knows him. Hence is why she put out the statement. Guys, he could have told me this six months ago when he found out, but because I always knew that his ass was a liar, I'm not shocked at all that I'm just now finding out a few days before. Hence, that's why I am not going to marry his ass. She said she wasn't going to marry him before this shit came out because she knew the type of motherfucker that he was. That's why she had just decided to move with him because she thought, you know what, after all these years of being together and not living together formally, let's see if we can do this, if I can trust him, since we've had instant after instant, but we have a son together and I want my son to know his father. And I do realize everybody ain't perfect. And I can't expect this man to be faithful when I have yet to fully commit to him. So really he don't owe me shit because he takes care of me. And then she don't need no motherfucking prayers. She don't need no motherfucking prayers. Okay. That woman ain't going no well, no well. Why? Cause she know him. She been fucking him 20, almost 20 years. And hasn't decided to plan a wedding. She took the ring so she can wear the ring, okay? But the woman knows the social security number. She's power of attorney over this motherfucker. She's all of this without being married to him because she knew that it would be more devastating and more embarrassing to be a wife and have to separate everything that you got, okay? Where is everything that you have now is a gift. And you don't have to give that shit back when you separate. Twenty ten. That's right, Jamie. Twenty ten. You get engaged because you're bored. You get engaged because you're bored. Why not? You get engaged because you're bored. And it keeps him thinking that he has a chance. It's called the chase. It's the oldest motherfucking trick in the book. I'm going to let this man motherfucker think he going to marry me. Ain't, ain't, listen, 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 listen. She's knee alone. She's knee alone. She don't have to look for dick out here. He knows that. He knows that. But she also knew what type of nigga he was. That's why she never got online to brag about him. That's why she really, I mean, yeah, they took pictures together. They showed off. But she never gave him the satisfaction to get comfortable enough to be with. Because when it's time for her to pack her shit and leave, she can still pack her shit and leave and take everything that she's moved over from his account to hers because he has given her literally everything to prove to her except, <laughs> except honesty in order to keep her. She's a smart bitch. I got to give it to her. 
She's a smart bitch. Yes. See, Nia ain't desperate. See, women out here, they desperate to get married. Just desperate to get married. This bitch, listen, she knows I'm Nia. I have options. <laughs> I have options. And listen, the one who has the most patience, I guarantee you, listen, listen. If she does decide to leave him, I, I don't think she really is. But if she does decide to leave him, I don't know, she may surprise us. But if she do, this bitch, the next motherfucker she get with, she gonna get, she gonna marry him in under a year. Watch what I tell you. Bitch gonna be engaged and planning a wedding. But what happened? She knew. She knew he wasn't shit. She felt it in her spirit. She's caught him doing shit, okay? But she's also told him, listen, we don't need to commit. I'm not gonna commit to you because I know that you can't commit to me. So what we're doing is fine. And you can't ask me what the fuck I'm doing or who I'm doing it with. You don't get that privilege yet because you have proven to me that you cannot commit. So we're going to prolong this engagement until I see that I can trust your ass, okay? And the fact that I don't move myself here thinking that we've had a good streak. We've had a good two years of you not motherfucking fucking around. And when I get here and you knew you was fucking this bitch and you had no busy fucking this bitch, it was probably motherfucking coach's daughter or some shit. Who knows? They saying it's bad. First of all, he ain't lost his job, so it ain't that bad. What, the bitch 19? What, he's in his 40s? What? What is it? How, how bad could it be to the point where he didn't lose his job? Stop. Stop with the bullshit. Stop. Okay? She knew. She knows her nigga. Now the world knows her nigga. Everybody was praising him. She was the only bitch wasn't praising him. Wasn't quick to jump over no motherfucking brew. Y'all bitch, because she knew. She knew it was going to be a matter of time for a headline. And guess what? It's easier to motherfucking leave when you ain't got no paperwork attached, okay? But that power of attorney is attached because she is his baby mom. And he'll keep that because guess what? He desperate. Please, baby, please. Now he had a job for six months, okay? And I hope she moved enough cash over. Mm-hmm. He got suspended. He got, he didn't get accused of rape now. Rape, he would have been gone. He got suspended. Okay. Now, y'all asked for her to be canceled. She says she's canceled. Tiffany is not canceled. Tiffany just signed a movie deal uh, yesterday. Okay. Uh, very dramatic. Uh, had to settle because the more this kept, being talked about, the more her best friend, Jason P, bullies and uses his platform to come, to come at these victims, the worse it looks for her. So what did she do? She did what uh, Bill Cosby does, what did R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, and she gonna deal with this later in life, which means when they do decide to file charges, they're gonna compile all the shit that she's done, okay? And they're gonna come after her when the career is about over. You understand what I'm saying? That's how it works. And so her saying that she's lost every gig, not true, okay? It was very dramatic. I was, I felt it in my heart, in my heart. I was like, damn, like I, I thought maybe, you know, um, you know, she would, I don't know. I just, you know, be given a second chance. You know, but obviously it wasn't a second chance because she ain't lost shit. Okay. So, um, but I do feel that if she would have kept down this path and allowing Jason P to continue to bully and expose Jane and John Doe as he did the mother, and she's claiming that these this is a shakedown, but you use other people's children to make skits and they underwear and shit and didn't have a parent available on that motherfucking set to even clear that shit. She still needs her motherfucking ass whip. Okay. Yeah. So she's lying. Period. Okay. All right.
right, so we got through majority of the topics. How long have you been live? How long? Oh shit, we've been live quite some time. Okay. Um, the link is in the chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. The link is in the chat. You guys can go ahead and give your ask your questions, give your perspective on tonight's show. I hope you enjoyed it. I had to rush it a little bit. So if now if the power go out, unfortunately, it'll probably go out while y'all are talking to me, okay? But you got your show. So we pray for that. God ain't never interrupting that show. Yeah, okay. So the link is in the chat. You guys do have to copy and paste the link or you can hit it from the website, okay? And you can come in and ask your questions. So y'all can go ahead and get backstage. Let me let Chelsea in real quick. Uh, hold on for a second. Where you at, Chelsea, while y'all are going ahead and getting in the back, okay? Where she at? Damn, it's hot in this one. It's, hot. it's like a dewy hot. I feel dewy and sticky and things like that. Ooh. Nah. So, um, listen. Now, the children she paid, and children ain't dismissed shit, okay? Hold on for a second. No wine talk on Megan and Harry. Mm -mm, not at all, not at all, not at all. Hold on for a second. Hold on, guys. Woo! Okay, there she go. What are you doing in the studio? I have to fix that video. What, what do you mean, mean what am I doing in it? What do you what do you mean what am I doing in the studio? I work here. Then where are your clothes? I have on clothes, but you told me if I touch the thermostat again, I'm gonna get fired. So I brought a blanket. You already know. Okay. You already it's 87 know. degrees outside, but it's 52 in the studio. Mm. And that, that's perfect. So, um, real quick about this lady, Angela Kogan. So did, oh, she, hit you for, did she hit you for an advertisement? Oh. Be honest, you ain't gonna get fired now, nothing like that. Everybody is either in the hospital or gone, Tasha. You couldn't fire me if you wanted to. However, I thought the Angela thing was going to be a great interview because you were always giving commentary on who had fillers, who had Botox. And I thought she would be a great connection to have to mm -hmm. tell you, one, the difference between fillers and Botox. Botox. And then also because she has so many celebrities on her Instagram.